This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Valheim Punch Everything Challenge. Uh, I still don't know. I still haven't settled on a name. Punch Only Punching Challenge? Only Fisting Challenge? I don't know. And let me know your name suggestions for this challenge down in the comments. Maybe maybe Unarmed Challenge? I don't Unarmed Challenge does not sound fun. That sounds boring. I need a good sounds fun name for this challenge. I kind of like the fisting challenge, but uh, some of you had comments about calling the seed uh, fisting fun. So I don't, you know, listen, back in the day, what did they call boxing? They called it fisticuffs. And then, you know, what do you punch things with? You punch things with your fist. It seems legit to me. I think mainly most of all, you all need to get your minds out of the gutter. But by the way, the comments on the last episode or on the first episode, I should say, were absolutely hilarious. Just all and so many of you had me just crack it up. I was dying reading the comments from episode one. So today's agenda is to farm a little bit of wood and then we need to do some training. But uh, in order to do some training, I want to do training where we can get quick stamina regen. Now we have a situation where we have it modded so that stamina is easier, but I want like super fast because if we, if we run here, let's put that away. Let's run inside. I'll show you the difference here. So we're going to uh, just, let's spend a bunch of stamina. So this is with the rested buff outside without being inside. It's pretty fast, right? But we get a massive increase if, oh look at this guy. Oh yeah, take that. If we stand inside and we have the sh sheltered buff and we're resting, I'm gonna try to roll back and forth here and blow through a bunch of stamina so you can see how absolutely crazy it is with this bonus on top of what we already have. Look at that. That's nuts. <laughs> it's basically non-existent. It's like almost instant. So we got to get, uh, we got to get our fists like iron here in order to do that. I want to get a little bit of sheltered situation around one of these rocks. Some of these might be a little too close. This one's not bad, but we can't clear out that tree there. And I also don't want a situation where we're messing with our next spawn over there. So maybe, maybe we find an area back here to make like a little training hut. And I, I'm so like, I'm so glad that we have the time to do just random fun stuff like this. So no, none of these rocks are good. Well, the other thing we could do, we can't, oh, you know, we don't need a rock that, oh, you know what we can do? All right. I got a brainstorm. So if we hit this, that's too hard. Oh, we can level up hitting too hard. Oh, that's interesting. I thought you actually had to see the numbers, but apparently you can level up on too hard. Okay, hold on. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that right here. Let's knock this down. We gotta be careful because we already have a log on that. Let's knock this log and make sure that it doesn't damage that tree anymore because that tree is going to be our training tree. All right, not too bad. It damaged it a little bit, but I think it'll be all right. It's not going to take any more damage after that because I'm going to knock this tree down and hopefully it'll fall that way. All right, I think I have everything we are going to need. So we're going to grab our flattening thing and we're going to just flatten it. And by flattening thing, I mean the hoe. And we're just going to kind of flatten this out a little bit. We don't need anything crazy. We just need to make sure that we have the sheltered buff. That's that's all that matters. That's what's going to give us that nice increase. By the way, while I am doing this, I want to point out something uh, somebody pointed out in the comments. I said in the last episode that I uh, didn't think that there was a way to stop you from losing experience when you die. I didn't think that Valheim Plus had that. Uh, apparently, it does, and I actually configured that and completely forgot that I had even configured it. I thought vaguely when I had went to look for it uh, at one point that I was like, I got to make sure I check for this. And I looked through the config file and I didn't see it. So I just assumed that it didn't and I didn't remember doing it in the first place. Listen, listen, people, I'm very old and forgetful and I have an absolute crap, terrible memory. And, uh, you know, 
things like this happen from time to time. But yes, there is a setting inside of Valheim Plus that you can set to stop experience loss. If, you've, if you're using my config file that is in the description, uh, that will, it has that enabled, so you will not lose experience. I have it set to negative 100%. You can actually decrease or increase the death penalty. So I just turned it completely off because I hate it. That's it. That's the only reason. I hate the death penalty. I mean, some people like that stuff. They like the thrill of knowing if they die, they lose a bunch of their work, and I'm just kind of over it. I like the whole thing of where you die, you need to go back and get your stuff. I feel like that's enough of a pen penalty in my opinion, but, uh, you know, to each their own. Okay, so we got that. Let's just throw this roof here and go in here. Are we sheltered? We are sheltered. Do we need a fire? I got the stuff for a fire, but, um... You know, let's just put a little fire outside just in case. Okay, I think we are good to go. I'm actually going to remove this so we don't affect any spawns. And I think we're ready to start training. Uh, we got like a terrible view right now. Can we pop out through the door? This is a terrible view for a training montage. All right, I guess we're getting the close up. All right, commence the training montage. <laughs> Alright, our training is nowhere near complete. However, we have gotten unarmed up to 51. Run is at 21. Jump is at 13. And then the rest of these, yeah, you can see them. They don't really matter. Sneak kind of matters a little bit, but eh, not too much. So, I think we're ready to do it. I think I want to try to take on Ichthyr. I'm going to get some decent armor before we do that, though. Uh, let's see. So, we need a total of 12 to make those two pieces. 18 total to make the full set. So I think we can make the full set. We have 24. Uh, let's do it here. So we're going to craft that. It'll just be the base of all of it, but eh, you know, well, let's see how much we got left over if we can upgrade. Okay. So we got six left. Can we upgrade any of this? No, we need a tier three bench and we're also going to need some bones. I think I have some bones, but I don't think we can make the tier three bench because I think we just spent everything we needed to make the bench because we need that. Oh no, we have five, we, have, we need 20 scraps. We do not have 20 scraps. So we will not be making the next tier bench, but we do now have upgraded armor. So we're just gonna toss that in there and we are going to equip all of our armor. And then I think I'm just gonna toss this in the water because why not? Look at that, we're upgraded to leather armor, heck yeah. All right, so uh, that's not what I wanted to hit. Nope, that's not what I wanted to hit. We're going to hit that and drop that in there. Okay, so I'm going to cook up a little bit more of this meat. We're going to harvest the bees, and uh, then we're going to grab our... Well, let's just do that now before I forget, because you all know I will forget. So we're going to grab our three heads there, and then uh, I'm just going to cook up to make sure we have plenty of meat. All right, I think we are good to go. So we got to head all the way back up here, because, of course, I forgot to activate the... Ichthyr thing, so we got to run all the way back to the beginning, activate that, and then run to wherever Ichthyr's spawn location is. But that's fine because we need lots of run practice anyway, so running will be good for us. Oh, oh, we got to fight. We got to fight. Okay, now's our chance to test our skills. So we got this little guy here, these little guys, they're fine. Two punch, done, 82 damage. This guy right here, come here. You, you big boy. Yeah, big boy, take that. Three punches and he's done. One punch on that one. Yeah, look at that. 
Skills are good. We're going good. At 51, we hit pretty freaking hard for most things. It'll be fun to see how hard we actually hit Ichthyr. I kind of am hoping that we run into a troll because I really want to try to punch a troll to death. All right, we finally made it back over here. Let's hit up this stone and see where Deer Face is at. Oh, he's actually not that far away. Okay, so that's actually good. So we're going to run over here real quick. All right, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do before we go fighting this guy is I'm going to place down a campfire real quick so that we can sit down and get our rested buff back. All right, that's going to give us eight minutes to take him down. I'm going to leave that there because uh, there's nothing that says I can't get him to walk over that and get a little bit of damage if need be. Okay, so... um. Let's do it. Uh, I guess this is it. We're just doing it. We got our shield and uh, we're ready to punch this deer. All right, he's going to come in over here. I'm going to start punching on him as soon as he gets in. Holy crap. We hit him so hard. We hit him so hard. Oh my God. Ichthyr, you don't even know, buddy. You don't even know. Oh, you just, oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! We're a freaking beast! We just destroyed that deer with our fists! He didn't even know what was happening! Oh, I thought we needed three. We only needed two. Oh my god! <laughs> His health was just chunking down! Chunk! I don't think I've ever beat him that easily before. Okay, that makes me wonder if it's that easy to beat him if you get your pun if you're unarmed to level 51 without using any mods. Because we do have a little bit of stuff to mod the game to make it easier, but none of the stuff that we use to, to make the game easier increased unarmed damage. Now the mod does allow you to do that, but I did not do that because I wanted to see how possible it was to beat the game with the base damage that you get for unarmed. That was insane. Uh, so the only thing that you would have to do, uh, I guess, if you were doing this unmodded with the changes that I've made is manage your stamina a little bit better instead of just running in there all gung-ho you would probably run in like punch punch and then like let your stamina regen and then run in and punch punch and stamina regen and that would be about it that's crazy and we're on day seven or eight so day seven or eight um, oh, well, we have a 20% increase in the, the experience that we get for unarmed, so it may take you a little bit longer. Day 10-ish, you could probably get to 50 if you were really focused on unarmed and you just macroed. Like, that's what I did. I have a macro that I just hit, and I just sat there, and I just punch a stone over, or that tree that we had there over and over, and I did it for, I, I don't even know, I, I couldn't tell you how long, for a while, but Wow. Wow, that was nut. That is the fastest and easiest I have ever beat that deer. I cannot believe that. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go hang the head and get our power. Well, it's nighttime, but we're over here. We're gonna hang the trophy, activate our power. Oh yeah, I feel the power. All right, well, uh, I guess we're gonna head back to the house, sleep the night. Uh, we can now make our pickaxe and get into the Bronze Age so we can start a garden, all of that good stuff. We already have a bunch of carrot seeds. Um, there is a little bit of black forest or dark forest, whatever it's called, close by. So that we, I didn't go over there. I wasn't really paying attention to where there was any copper. I did see some silver along the shoreline, which was nice. Oh, I just found a troll. I just found a troll. I know it's nighttime. I will make it bright to see. I know it's the worst, like, it's not the best even when I brighten it up. But here we go. Here we go. We're going to see how this goes. We're probably going to die. But I want to try it anyway. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. All right, all right, hold up, hold up. We're actually doing decent damage to him. I just gotta get the timing down on his swings. Okay, hold up. So if I can get the timing down. Oh God, nope, okay, nope, nope. I'm terrible at timing, terrible at timing. Run away, 
Run away. Yep, we don't even feel rested anymore. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're gonna eat a little bit of honey and we're gonna keep running until we get back to the house. All right, we got a skeleton here. Let's test the skeleton. Oh my God. <laughs> because it's blunt damage, we just wasted that skeleton. Holy crap. Okay, so we know that anything that is weak against blunt we're absolutely going to wreck. Look at that. Just wrecked that guy. Stuff like the troll. I think the troll. I think I can take a troll. I got to get the timing down right and fighting it with such close quarters. Uh, the only reason I did not continue to try to fight that one is because we're so far away from home. I didn't have to. I didn't want to have to run all the way back out there to get my body. I'm not worried about the death because we won't lose any skill from it. I just didn't want to have to run all the way back out there because we're really far from home in order to uh, retrieve my stuff because we had a lot of stuff on us. So I was just testing something and punching this stone wall and it looks like our second punch does more damage than our first punch. If you take a look here, we hit for 23 consistently, 25, 28, 23, 29, 23. Now, our second punch. First punch, 20s. The second punch, 52. 51. 53. 54. Now, let's try this. Punch the air, punch the block. 54. Punch the air, punch the block. 56. So when you run that combo, your left hand hit hits for just about double of what your initial punch hits for. That means that if we can get our unarmed combat to 100, the rest of the content in this game is going to be pretty much a breeze for us because we're going to be hitting so freaking hard that we're going to basically be a higher tier than whatever weapon we would be using at a specific spot. So for example, I think right now we're hitting at iron level which is freaking crazy because we just started the game and we're already hitting an iron level. All right, let's craft up this pickaxe. We got everything we need and bam, we are now officially in the bronze age. Well, we haven't harvested any, but I mean, we're more or less officially. We can now harvest it. Look at this guy. Look at this. What are you doing? You're dying. That's what you're doing. So if we run straight through here, we can run into some black forest or dark forest, whatever it's called run into some forest in this direction so let's run over here i've emptied my inventory uh except for the deer heads but that's fine let's see what kind of fight we can get into over here let's see if we can find another troll i really want to see if we can fight a troll okay i found one i'm gonna attempt to sneak up on him and punch him here we go here we go oh i should probably eat all right we're good we're good we're going to sneak up on him. We're going to get our initial hit in, and then I'm just going to go hard. There's no way we can block him right now. I got to get the dodge down. I'm going to punch him right in the butt. Okay, that's it. That's what we want. Oh, we freaking stumbled him. Holy crap. We hit him so hard, we freaking stunned him. I should have kept going. All right, let's get our stamina going. Oh crap, he hits so hard. Okay, no, we gotta run, we gotta run. I just, I gotta get the timing down. We could totally do it. We can totally take him. I've just gotta get the timing down. We've almost got him, we got him at half health. I'm gonna let our, um, let our stamina, or not our stamina, our health regen a little bit. I'm gonna fight him, we're taking him down. He's going down, look at all these idiots over here. We got a ton of idiots and I don't even care. I'm taking down this freaking troll. Just got to keep moving. Oh, he's running back. No, don't run back. Okay. All right, we're back. almost back up to, to health. Oh God, why can I not get this timing? Okay, there we go, there we go. Nope, nope. I'm terrible at the timing. Absolutely terrible. We got him below half health. If I could get the timing down, if I was better at my timing, 
Somebody out there, I know somebody is better at this game than me, could have probably done that flawlessly. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. Um, it kind of sucks because I ate a berry, but I'm going to see. If worse comes to worse, I'll run. If we block... Okay, he's only... Hold on. If I time it right, if I time it right, I can stun him. Ah, come on. No, we need to up our blocking more. Although, he is doing very little damage when he hits. Oh, that hit hard. Oh God, oh God, okay, all right, we're running away. I, I wanna do this, we're so close. We're so close. He started hitting me way harder. I don't know what was going on. Maybe I wasn't blocking in time. Uh, I'm gonna run him in circles here. See if I can get him stuck. You gonna get stuck, buddy? We just need a little bit, a little bit more health. Just a little bit. We have a little, not quite what I'd like to have to, before I go in there to try to fight him again. But I really want to punch this troll to death. Like. It's on my bucket list. Oh, did he just heal the troll? Really, dude? You're gonna heal the troll? Now I need the troll to run away. Or maybe... Oh. We did it! We did it! We did it! Holy crap! Holy crap! I was just like, I'm going hard. I'm going hard. I don't even care. I'm just going in there. We're gonna punch him. He's gonna die or I'm gonna die. One or the other. Holy crap, we did it! That's determination, children. That's determination. Okay. Well, I think this has been a very eventful and revealing episode. Holy crap! Unarmed is the way to go. It's so OP. You're so strong. The other thing is, is like, you just feel strong. Even when I was running back, like, some little, the little freaking idiots showed up. And I'm like, I don't even care. Bring it. I don't need a weapon. I don't need no armor. I'm freaking Superman. I just punch you right in the face. It's so good. I highly recommend giving this challenge a go. Uh, so far, it's a freaking blast. All right, well, we're going to call it there. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.